Hey guys and welcome, my name is Chris with Robotics Gaming and this is Ray Channel Legends. Uh, so in this video I'm going to kind of talk about the state of the game so far. And uh, my position with this game, this is just a video about my thoughts and views uh, on the game currently. Uh, which is, we've just dropped patch 1.13. Um, uh, which hasn't really added a lot to the game. Uh, the main feature for the patch was the Battle Pass, uh, which kind of gives you two versions. you got your free version, which comes as standard, and then you've got the Gold Pass version, uh, which gives you a lot more. Um, and that is uh, a £24 uh, investment for this Gold Pass, which is, um, it lasts for a season, so it's two months long, and there's a whole load of rewards that you get from this, which is brilliant. Um, uh, however, um, just since it's dropped, it's kind of uh, forced my opinion about things uh, like on this game, which kind of uh, kind of it, it reiterates um, what I feel like Polarium's uh, vision for their player base is and kind of who they favour in this game. Um, and it's very clear that uh, people who spend a lot of money and are willing to keep spending a lot of money on this game are obviously favoured more than the people who don't necessarily... Um, yeah, I'm not necessarily talking about uh, the other people being as free-to-play players, but people who do not feel like spending as much on the game. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of put me in a, a, in a kind of kind of made me step back a bit from this game um let me try and explain that a bit more see like i am uh, most of the time i can consider to my uh, consider myself to be free to play in terms that I, I subscribe to the game when i feel like like it's necessary um and i buy energy packs and uh, when i feel like I, I need them to complete events or tournaments and you know i pay for shard packs as well when there's a uh, when I've got a load of money floating about and you know there's there's a an event to get a certain champion and I'll put money on shards then. Um <clears throat> so I don't know, like with the battle pass, it's not just a battle pass, it's a few things that have kind of um like come together to make me feel like I don't really want to be playing this game that much anymore. Um and let's uh let's go over that in this today. We'll start off with the battle pass. <clears throat> okay, so the free version of the Battle Pass, you get daily challenges. Daily challenges, uh, completing all these gives you 5 points, um, and it's 10 points per level uh, to complete this, so you can comfortably uh, get up to level 100 in a season as a free-to-play player. Uh, however, the requirements um, to complete these daily challenges um, are... Um, it, it asks the game asks a lot of you to be able to complete these challenges. Um, so these three ones at the bottom here, these change depend yeah, on a day to day basis. They alternate. Um, generally, these will be the same. The second one will be something to do with you know uh, clearing some dungeons or campaigns. Your third one will be something to do with arena, defeat arena, um, like play arena battles with a certain affinity or like one shot in an enemy in arena which are doable if you like snipe your teams um trying to f pick one out and keep refreshing your dailies and hopefully you'll come across a team that can do this and the bottom one uh, is generally upgrading items uh to level eight um but the top one here this one never changes this is always going to be the same for all the levels and this is the one that i really don't agree with this is the one that holds people who kind of players free to play um to the game and that is claim all playtime rewards <clears throat> okay so to claim all playtime rewards first we need to go to the playtime rewards and uh this is it so to get that daily quest completed you need to play the game or have the game open for three hours <clears throat> Which, um, to me, is a lot of time. Three hours is a huge amount of time. And it kind of goes against like the, the free-to-play effectiveness 
like playing this game. Um, so generally, if you're playing free to play, you want to be you're gonna want to be as effective as you can with this game with the resources that it gives you. Um, so that will be doing your dailies every day, and then once you've completed, um, once you've completed five of these dailies, you get a you get an XP banner, which increases your experience by hundred <clears throat> percent. Um, so for me, what I like to do, and probably a lot of other people as well. It's kind of uh, just get through all these daily quests, get your free energy potion and your gems, and then yeah, you know, stay on the game for like an hour. Yeah, you know, it gives you sixty minutes to do this. It, like to do my dailies, it usually takes me about twenty minutes. Um, but I'll just like pot around on this. Maybe do a bit of arena or some clan boss stuff. Um, to get to this this reward, which is a free energy uh, refill after an hour. Which is brilliant. It's more energy throughout the day, and those are your, your two big main energy boosters throughout the day. Just getting your your daily quest done and your playtime reward, which is one hour, um, <clears throat> in order to get your XP banner at the end of the week. And then once you have that XP banner, you get 100% more XP, and that's where you really want to like spend time on this game, grinding out your champions and gaining levels. Um, but <laughs> But with the addition of the battle pass, trying to get these daily quests as well, obviously it is more free rewards that you get from this. There are like one or two XP banners in here, um, and a lot of energy as well that you can pick up from this, um, which is nice. They are spread out quite a bit for the XP banners though. Um, yeah, and to do that, to do this as well, you you need to be on the game for three hours to get this, um, which kind of put, puts like a like a gate on the game. Um, <clears throat> which just just feels like uh, I don't know, like really unfair and like very biased against uh, that free to play kind of market. I keep saying free to play a lot, just people who don't spend as much in the game um, as they would like them to. They kind of instead of giving us your money, you're going to give us your time. <clears throat> um. Okay, so that's kind of one of the reasons that six sticks out to me. Mainly this this claim to play time rewards, um, for three hours, um, yeah. And, and let's not forget as well, a lot of the people still just play this on on their mobile. Not everyone plays it on the PC desktop app. Um, and yeah, I picked up this game because I commuted a lot, so I'd like to play something that was decent while I was commuting, and this was the game for me to do that with. Um. Yeah, but now it just holds me to doing that, which has kind of made me step back a bit because I don't want to feel forced into doing those three hours a day. Um, there's other things I'd rather be doing. Um, but you know, the battle pass as a whole is a really good deal uh, for people who are willing to invest in the game. Um, you know, it's it's twenty four pounds. That's uh twelve pound a month. Uh, the, the this current season lasts for two months, so that's a nice twelve pounds, and you get loads of um, loads of brilliant loot from this, as well as the um, the XP and silver bonuses as well. Pardon me, and that goes up to like fifty percent. So the battle pass is completely worth it compared to their other packs. Um, you know, you know what you're getting for this, and you don't have to do the daily challenges like all of them because you get weekly challenges as well. And there's loads more loot in this, which we you know haven't been unveiled yet, so we don't know what all these loots are. But judging by the first few, they're going to be pretty useful. Uh, to the game as a whole and you know like i said less stress on the playtime because you get to do weeklies uh, which offer you 12 points per completing one of these uh, which is really nice so it doesn't hold you to that three hours a day um requirement for getting that um so yeah so the battle pass yeah it is nice and it is worth it um so one of the other things that really kind of yeah, made me step back as well is the uh, subscription so i can't show it on this one because it doesn't uh, show up on the desktop app um because that's been removed i think it was in for a, for a little bit and then they took it out or maybe i'm just you know thinking about my mobile game um but yeah it's the subscription which i think is like eight or nine pounds i think probably nine pounds for per month for the subscription 
and that gives you 20% experience and silver gain through having a subscription and also it gives you more of the kind of auto battle tokens uh, to do a lot more gr grinding um, which adds a lot of value in itself just those battle tokens <coughs> um, yeah if, if you're constantly grinding away at this game it's absolutely amazing um, so I, I've I don't constantly have the subscription on. Um, I kind of generally subscribe to this game when I know I'm going to do a lot of champion grinding to level that exp uh, yeah, to get where I'm wanting that experience to level up my champions. Um, so yeah, I'll do it by on a month by month basis if I need it at that time. If I'm doing a big grind of champions, and then just leave it off when I'm not uh, not too bothered about it. <clears throat> but you know, kind of. I don't. I, I just don't agree with having a subscription to the game, and a battle pass, um, just to like compete with the game to keep up with the game. You kind of it feels like you need to have both of these, for the experience gains, for the silver gains, and for the uh, new champions that have been released and everything else. It feels like you need those two things to be able to, you know, keep up in this game. So. Uh, I don't know, it just kind of like really annoys me that there's two kind of like paywalls, um, two adventure champions um, in a short amount of time. Which, don't get me wrong, people who play in this game should be getting uh, benefits from it. Yeah, I completely agree with that, but just don't oversaturate it with all these uh, packages, with all these deals, because you'll turn it into like a game that's just like, <laughs> you know, asking for loads of money. Um... Yeah, subscription or season pass. Pick one. Um, preferably the the battle pass. Even that's more beneficial to players. Um, and just scrap your bloody subscription. Like either take away that twenty percent experience or give it to everyone. Um, as well as the the battle tokens. You know, and then you'll get a lot more people paying for the battle pass. But yeah, so that was that was the second reason anyway, having two kind of subscription-based services on this game, which is a mobile game. And then the other thing was the Fusion Champion. Um, so this is the last one that came out. Um, they introduced some new champions, like a load more new champions with the uh, with the patch, and they gave us a chance to, uh, for a new Fusion Champion. A legendary champion which is Rotos the Lost Groom. Um and this guy is gonna acquire require a lot of champions to be able to fuse. Um some of these I've seen before. Like I've started going for some of these uh, other champions to try and get the epic champions. I didn't have any of these in my in my bag which I'm a bit salty about. Um I've seen this one before but I, I don't have him um so I'll need to fuse all of these from the ground up. Um but I think like half of these are new champions, which I'd never have anyway. Um, and these are all going to be, you know, you've got the opportunity to get these from events and tournaments. And like one or two other places in the game. <coughs> um, so this is where my third bit comes into it. Um, so because it's a new champion with a load of other new champions, yeah, everyone's going to have to like work a bit to try and get these new champions to be able to fuse this champion so it makes things a little bit harder from the start people who have been saving up so whenever i get a rare champion that i haven't got i put stick in my vault so therefore i've got the rare champion there ready for when a fusion event comes along same with my epic champions um yeah i'll try and save it just to be prepared for when something comes up uh so this has come up and i don't really have anything for it which means i need to focus on events um and tournaments and I don't know, this this kind of like, so I took a look, look at the champions that I did have and the champions that I need and then kind of um, seen, I had a look to see what events I could get these champions from um, and just the requirements, so all the new ones are at the higher end of the of the scale as it would be, uh, so this one's the Dungeon Divers event, uh, so this is one where you're going to be wanting to do it, doing dungeon uh, battles for this to get the uh, to get the more points, the higher rewards, um, and yeah, it just takes a lot. I think it's like to get to this champion, you need to get like, um, 
was it like a hundred and uh, not even that like uh, like two hundred and about two hundred like epic uh five star pieces of gear to be able to get this champion uh like a hundred and sixteen <laughs> legendary six star pieces um which is a lot of investment for energy and time spent on the game as well. If you haven't got like a a team that can clear like 20 or really fast, then you're going to be really struggling to be able to get these champions from these events. Um, and the same with tournaments as well. Um, you can kind of see it here how they like value of players as well if we go into the tournaments. Um, so once you're in, in a group, you know, depending on how lucky you are, once you're in a group, there's these rewards that you can get while you're in a group. Uh, kind of targets that you can aim for yourself even. Uh, ones that, rewards you can get based on what the points that you've accumulated. Uh, and this one's 1,750 points to get this one. Um, which is still kind of high, but a bit more achievable than the, than the event, I think. Um, so you can get all these as well. And another reason why this game is geared to more people, like the, the whales of the game, if you will, the people that are willing to spend a lot more than the game is actually worth, um, are, are these tournaments because they just put people, uh, players against player against player, uh, to accumulate points. Um, so you know, when, once you get in your category, it's kind of random who else you're in here with. But as soon as that kicks off, all the people who are putting loads of money into this game are going to shoot up to the top. Because um, they're going to have all the all the money for refills and to be able to get their champions uh, optimized quicker. And then, you know, they're also going to be competing against the global leaderboard. Um, where there's more rewards. And you can see here, like, there's people already on 3,826 points. That's number one. Yeah, these are all, like, 3,000 in the top, the top 10 which have already cleared past this and gone above and beyond and you know there's still one day and 20 one day 22 hours left so that's going to go up even higher this is where people who spend money really compete to get those uh get higher up in the ranks and to get those rewards um but yeah so people who are generally free to play or don't spend as much money um can only you know are not going to be able to compete for those specific rewards in there um, you're lucky to get like the bottom few from the group uh, tournaments. Um, so yeah, just that as well. So it kind of like feels like everything that's been added to the game. Um, even in the last patch, they were talking about like content and stuff. Loads of things are going to be added, um, but not much was added to the game. They, we got a new uh, faction open up, which was the the dwarf crypts in faction wars. Uh, great. And we got the battle pass. They were the main things. Everything else was just bug fixes or rebalancing of some champions, which is great if you have those champions. Um, yeah, that was basically it. The dwarf faction uh, in faction wars and the battle pass. <clears throat> um, so yeah, it's a kind of, a, I don't know, I feel like this game is overreaching and it's kind of targeting people who... Um, who were just wanting to spend a, a lot of money on this game, basically. Um, and I'm not, you know, I've I've spent money in this game. I was, you know, I've been playing this game for like a year. Um, and I have brought energy. I brought packs. I've had subscriptions. And this is probably one of the one of the highest. Well, it's definitely one of the highest games that I've actually spent money on. Um, in in my lifetime of games, like. Yeah, it's probably somewhere around like uh, Call of Duty franchise. The amount of like games I brought in, in that with expansion passes, this is probably yeah around the same kind of level as the amount of money I've spent on <laughs> on a game, and that was compared to a franchise as well, not just a game. Um, obviously number one is going to be World of Warcraft. Ridiculous amount of money on that game. Um, but yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of money invested in this game. Um, and you know, I probably still will get the gold pass for it, but just everything that's been happening in the game lately, it just there's not really been that much new content to the game. Um, the only thing, like in my eyes, that this game has that's holding me here, that's pulling, uh, that's kind of keeping people here and make 
you know wanting them to invest more is the is the aesthetics of the game the way it looks um <laughs> which definitely caught my attention when it came out um but i mean i don't know i've just got this feeling if 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 these guys don't change the way they like view their players they view their player base and kind of you know stop being so greedy then you know they're gonna lose a lot of players even with all the advertisement that they're doing um yeah, because I'm not willing to stick to this time-gated uh, thing in the past for staying for three hours. You know, I, I am just going to buy the the battle pass, but I'm just not going to play as much. I'm just, yeah, I'm still thinking about it. Like, uh, you know, it'd be nice to have, but if I'm not going to be playing that much, is it worth getting really for me? Um, so yeah, that's my decision to make. And yeah, you know, like I said before, these are all my opinions in this game, and how I'm feeling about it at the minute. Um, such like high hopes for this game, um, but they've been like, you know, completely changed, um, by this patch and just everything that's going on with this game at the minute. Um, so yeah, rather than being locked into playing this game for three hours at a a, a day i'm probably just going to still do my dailies um when i can be bothered but you know other, other than that i'm going to be trying out other games um such as calibria that just came out which is great and it's very more it's a lot more free to play friendly so it does kind of you know, pull me in that aspect yeah you know, the graphics are completely different it's it's it looks like a cartoon um you know, but the, but the meat is there. It's got all the stuff inside, all the all the mechanics to the game, are spot on. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna put a few videos about that game because I do think it is a really good game. And the good thing about it is is that it's not long been released, so kind of a lot of the players are starting off from afresh. So there's no competition of like going in there and be like, oh, I'm all the all this way far behind. Like everyone's starting off afresh as well. So it's a good game to jump into right now. Um, because then everyone's got that kind of level playing field field of uh, leveling up champions and getting their teams together. Um, so yeah, as far as this game, I, yeah, currently I don't know. Like I said, I'm just going to take a step back uh, and see what they kind of do, see how it progresses uh, from here on out, because uh, it is um, still a nice game, and it could be it could be a great game. But just for the minute, I'm not... You know, I'm stepping back. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my views on the current state of the game. Um, if you disagree with any of this, then stick a comment down below. If you agree, hit that like up, that thumbs up button. <laughs> you can give a like. Um, yeah, as always, please, if you like turning this content, then click that subscribe button. And hopefully I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.